I heard some special squad of rain.
This is a dangerous place, human, especially for your kind. I suggest you turn back. There's nothing good waiting for you further on. Yes, I hear that sometimes. And then I never see the people who said it again. Still hanging about? You do look like someone who can take care of himself, but I think you'll find this is more than you bargained for. Still hanging about? Keep saying things like that and I won't be so friendly. Not every super mutant is a brain damaged brute. Many of us are just as intelligent as basic humans, and the rest don't really have any choice in the matter, do they? And none taken, since you apologized. You must have heard her radio broadcasts. Though why a human would follow her invitation here is beyond me, unless you didn't listen very closely. The voice on the radio belongs to Tabitha, the supreme commander of Black Mountain, or as she calls it, the state of Utopatha. She took control of this place almost two years ago. The super mutants here do whatever she says, and she says humans are to be killed on sight. Help would improve the odds. Help might just make the difference. All right, if you're good enough at what you do to meet me in the village up near the peak, we can talk further. I'll have a plan by the time I see you, if I see you. Good luck. It's gonna be a lot harder for you to get up there than it will be for me. Grandma's got a present for you!
Take this! Pleasant surprise to see you made it. I'm ready to get started if you are. Whatever you need to do, be quick about it.
miss her little pumpkin. Are you sure? Nice children shouldn't play in places like that, dearie. That's the sort of place Leo likes. But if you insist... Took you long enough, so can I go now? Sorry. I assume the only reason you'd fight past a horde of super mutants and pick the lock on my cell is if you heard my cry for help on the radio. But maybe you're just sightseeing. So since the door's open and all, can I go now? Name's Raul. Raul Alfonso Tejada. I'm the mechanic around here. <sighs> no. No, boss. I'm a prisoner of the crazy super mutant with the wig and the glasses. I was kind of hoping you were here to set me free. But maybe I'm not a pretty enough damsel for that, huh? Probably because it used to be Miguel's. Whoever he was. How about if you let me go, huh, boss? Sure, boss. I'd be happy to prolong my captivity and psychological abuse to tighten some lug nuts for you. Back again? Can I go this time, or do you have something else in mind? You forget about me already, boss? You sure you didn't take a blow to the head or something? My name is Raul Alfonso Tejada. Can I leave now? Or did you want to ask me again in five minutes? Alrighty then. I'll just head out. Alone. By myself. Into the dangerous waste. Anything's better than staying here. Let's go. Not to worry, boss. I'm sure killing the boss of one of the families will in no way lead to savage, bloody reprisals against you and your loved ones. Sure, boss. Ah, uh, over-elaborate mob schemes to take over Vegas. Reminds me of the days before the war. I can't believe we were allowed inside the Lucky 38. That place has been a legend since before the war. Angry soldier robots with bazookas. I'm sure they'll be a good police force. Never been a big fan of gangs like the Fiends, boss. I'm glad they're gone. I'm sure pissing off a ruthless warlord with a tribe of fanatically devoted warriors was a good move. How could it not be? It was your idea. Don't worry, boss. I'm sure the sudden tension in the air is just a thunderstorm. What can I do for you, boss? Sure, boss. What do you want to know? You forget about me already, boss? You sure you didn't take a blow to the head or something? My name is Raul Alfonso Tejada. Probably because it used to be Miguel's. I'm an open book, boss. Granted, the book's in Spanish and some of the pages have fallen out, but I'm an open book. I'm not much use besides being a portable encyclopedia, really. I guess you could use me as a pack Brahmin, but my knees aren't so good anymore. That's nice of you to say, boss, but I'm an old man. Not much use to anybody anymore. Time was, I was a pretty good shot with a pistol. I guess I'm still half decent. These old bones aren't much use in hand-to-hand -hand fighting, though. 
I can also do maintenance work on your stuff. I don't have the supplies for a real repair job, but I can keep your gear working longer. Yeah, maybe you can introduce them to me, if we find them, because I've never met one. I'm an open... I was born just outside Mexico City. My family had a little ranch there. I'm an open book, boss. Granted, the book's in Spanish and some of the pages have fallen out, but I'm an open book. Old enough to know better, boss. Old enough to know better. You never heard of Petro Chico? Un amigo de Poseidon Energy? Eh, of course not. They were an oil company in Mexico back before the war. Well, boss, when a giant insane super mutant asks you to stay put, you do what you're told. Well, maybe you don't. But I'm just a broke-down old man. Stupid, boss. I used to listen to the radio broadcast. Just to pass the time. Well, one day the signal stopped. So I figured I'd try to find a transmitter. I'm a pretty good repairman. Or I was before my eyes started to go. Anyway, I found Black Mountain and offered my services. But Tabitha decided I was useful enough to keep around. Permanently. Anything to hold your attention, boss. Questions, boss? You mean you don't know everything there is to know already? Benny, huh? Sorry, boss. Doesn't ring a bell. Then again, my brain isn't as sharp as it used to be. You're a veritable geyser of curiosity, boss. Just how old do you think I am, boss? Because I can pretty much guarantee I'm older than that. Let me tell you a story from before the Great War. Everybody knew Robert House. He was a genius, a superstar. Founded Robco at 22. Dated Hollywood starlets, the works. They say he saved Las Vegas. I was in Mexico City when the bombs dropped. Even from there, we could see House's defensive rockets shooting down the incoming missiles. Everybody assumed he died in the war. Maybe he did. But his robots are still out there roaming the waste. And now, a Mr. House rules New Vegas. Maybe not. Maybe the new guy is just a clever raider chief with knowledge of history. Maybe he just left instructions for his robots to carry out in his name. Or maybe Robert House uploaded his brain pattern into a computer and rules to this day a godless, soulless machine god. Maybe the whole thing's a crazy coincidence. Who knows? I remember there were some weird stories about him, especially near the end. There was a tell-all in El Padiódico de las Arboridas by a starlet house dating. She said they never, uh... Now don't make me spell it out, boss. Anyway, she said all he wanted to do was scan her brain and make her dress up in different outfits. It was quite the scandal, at least in the Latin American tabloid journalism market. Big, it's bright, and it's one of the biggest cities still left from before the war. Well, mostly anyway. It used to be just a curiosity. The buildings were pre-war, but it's just as full of raiders and barbarian tribes as any place else. Then Mr. House took over, got the power turned back on, and got the tribes reformed into something civilized. And now they run his casinos for him. All right, I suppose. Had a bit of a tough going there at the beginning. You know their first town was nearly wiped out by raiders. Anyway, they got their good points and their bad. Just like a lot of the old governments from before the war. I don't really have a problem with them. 
People around here tend to see them as invading marauders planning to burn and pillage the countryside. But I've been to Arizona, boss. Before the Legion, it was a nasty place. So thick with raiders you couldn't trade with a town two miles up the road. Caesar's laws aren't nice, and their actions aren't always pretty. But then neither am I. But you keep me around. You're a veritable geyser. Sure, boss. Bringing Rhonda back to me, stranger. Here, take this. I won't be needing it anymore. I don't know. It's been so long since I lost Rhonda that I'm not sure. Mistress Tabitha, we should be heading off. Our journey has been much delayed, but we can catch up if we hurry. Come along now. Yes, Rhonda. What can I do for you, boss?
crouch while hit his hell on my back, boss.
I'm sure you'll be fair and equitable, boss. Good work, human. Maybe now this place can rest in peace. Who knows? It might stay abandoned, get used as a base for raiders, or even become another colony for mutants. The future is not written, human, and it is foolish to squint at what cannot be seen. I still have a job to do here. Some mutants may have heard Tabitha's broadcast and are headed here even as we speak. I'll remain and direct anyone who show up toward Jacobstown, where they'll be much better off.
There's nothing here for you, human. Though it is always good to see you. A few of us wanted to thank you for being such a good friend to the Brotherhood. So we've set aside some of our recycled energy cells. We'll leave a few of them in that footlocker in the corner every so often. The Paladins scoff at using recycled ammo so no one should mind. Oh, hey there. Something I can help you with? Greetings, my friend. I hope I can be of some assistance to you. Yes, we've already started receiving telemetry from it. This will be a great help in our future efforts, and I thank you. Now then, it is my great honor to bestow upon you the title of Paladin of the Brotherhood for meritorious service above and beyond the call of duty. I'm afraid a formal ceremony was out of the question, given our current state. But I hope this will make up for it. I had the knights refurbish a suit of our power armor for your use. It's one of the earlier models, but it should serve you well. Now I suppose I'm going to have to show you how to use it, aren't I? First, let's go over how to put it on. There. I think you've got the knack of it now. You should now be able to wear any kind of power armor you come across. I've also given the order that all of our equipment be made available to you, not just the more mundane arms. You're a member of the Brotherhood now, and your gear should reflect that. Lastly, you will be allowed to come and go as you please. You've done so much for us that to do otherwise would be a crime. I just ask that you keep the Brotherhood's interests at heart in all your dealings. Remember that you will always have a home here. Greetings, my friend. I hope I can be of some assistance to you. I'm sure you'll be fair and equitable, boss. Have you heard the news? Elder McNamara has lifted the lockdown. Good news for this store, let me tell you. I can't wait to start getting more goods. So what are you here for? Our patrols are always bringing more stuff in. Take a look. I'm sure you'll be fair and equitable, boss.
think they ran?